This graph shows what I found the second time. After they had done the two cleanings, these were the levels that I still found. Now, we had over 2,000 spores per cubic meter of cladosporium. We had uh, 453 of uh, aspergillus, and we had about the same of stachybotrys. What I proposed then was that uh, I would come back and sample again. So I sampled and found that we, they still had unacceptably high levels. So I suggested that we try diffusing in, in a test apartment just to see if it would work. So what we did is we went in and we set up the, uh, I set up the diffuser on um, November the 28th, 2005, ran it continuously for 24 hours and then sampled again. Now you can see that there was a dramatic drop. The owners were very impressed by this, but one of them had a question. He said, well, how do we know that that, that got rid of it? Uh, what if it comes back right away? What if it comes back in a day or two or something like that? And I said, well, we can go back and sample. So I went back two weeks later. This was the uh, 13th of December, 2005. I went back. Nothing was done in this apartment in that two weeks, two week period. We did no more diffusing, no more of anything. But in two weeks later, it was even. Everything was even lower. Plus, stachybotrys was zero.